Hello, I am Dr. Girish Nilivigi. I am a urologist at Nilivigi Multi-Speciality Hospital in Belandur, Bangalore. As we all know, vitamin C is found in citrus fruits like uh, mosambi, orange, kiwi fruit, etc. Vitamin C is helpful in the prevention of kidney stones. So it is a good practice to consume as many of these fruits as possible, especially in the raw form. But there is no need to go overboard because after all there is a limit to how many of these fruits you can consume without attendant health problems. But coming to the most important question and the only scientific fact that is responsible for the prevention of kidney stones is water intake. How much water should a person with kidney stone should drink to prevent the formation of kidney stones? Water has got a definite role in the prevention of formation of kidney stones for many reasons. Reason number one is it makes the urine more dilute. This decreases the saturation of urine with calcium and oxalate. The second reason why water prevents the formation of kidney stones is increased urine output flushes out the crystals of calcium and oxalate before they form stones. And the third reason is increased urine output as a consequence of increased water intake decreases the acidity of urine thus the formation of kidney stones comes down. A person should ensure an output of urine of about 1.5 to 2 liters per day to prevent the formation of kidney stones. To ensure this much our output, the water intake depends on the place where the person resides. In very hot climates, to ensure a urine output of 1.5 to 2 liters per day, they may have to consume about 4 to 5 liters of water. Whereas in cold climates, even a consumption of 2.5 liters of water per day is enough. Therefore, to summarize my answer on the role of diet in kidney stones, drink adequate water to ensure good urine output and second, eat a diet which is moderate in all the nutrients. There is no need to completely stop any particular nutrient in the food or any particular type of food. Thank you.